Hi, I'm Stephanie Jaworski from joyofbaking.com. Today we're going to make a homemade chocolate pudding. This uh, pudding has a rich chocolate flavor and a really creamy, smooth texture, the ultimate in comfort food. To make a, a chocolate pudding, you, we are going to do it on the stove. So you will need a medium-sized saucepan and try to use one with a thick bottom and that will help prevent your pudding from burning or scorching. And when you make a pudding, um, timing is pretty important. So it is best read over the instructions a few times, get familiar with what you're going to do. And then, like I have done here, have your ingredients out and all ready so you don't have to be running around trying to find an ingredient halfway through. So the first thing you need to do is take a uh, medium-sized heat-proof bowl and put in three-quarters of a cup which is 150 grams of granulated white sugar. And to that, for the some of the chocolate flavor, we're going to use a quarter of a cup, which is about 25 grams of unsweetened uh, cocoa powder. You can use either just the regular unsweetened or the Dutch process, either one. And I like to sift it just because um, cocoa powder tends to have a lot of lumps. Okay. And then we are going to add um, two and a half tablespoons of cornstarch. You may know that as corn flour. And that will be the thickener for the pudding. And then just a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. And then I'll just whisk that together. And then we're going to make like a paste. So add a third of a cup, which is 80 milliliters of milk. You can, depending on how rich you want your pudding to be, you can use whole milk or you could do, use a reduced fat. I'm using a 2% here. Obviously, if you use a whole milk, the uh, pudding will be a lot richer in um, flavor, but then, of course, a higher fat content, more calories, so. And then add... Um, three large egg yolks. That's going to add some richness also and helps bind all the ingredients together in the pudding. And just whisk that in. Okay, so there we have our base for our pudding. So, so next what we're going to do is we're going to heat some milk and cream. I'm using, uh, again, I'm using 2% milk, one and a third cups, which is 320 milliliters. And to that, I'm adding a third of a cup, 80 milliliters of heavy cream, heavy whipping cream. That's cream with a 35 to 45% um, butter fat content. And I'm just going to heat that over medium high heat. And just until it starts to boil, like around the edges, and just starts to foam up, and watch it carefully, because um, once it starts to boil, it starts to foam up, and if you don't watch it before you know it, it's over the top of your saucepan. So, just medium, medium, high heat. Okay, so as you can see, our milk is starting to boil and it's starting to foam up. So take it off the heat. And then what we're going to do is gradually whisk in the hot milk into our base of our pudding here. Now we don't want to add all of the milk all at once because then that will cook our eggs, which, and then we'll have scrambled eggs, which we don't want. So what you want to do, and you want to be whisking constantly as you add the milk. So you need two hands here. So just, just keep whisking and pouring and that way we won't cook our eggs. Okay. And that's, there we have it. Now you may, as you noticed, I put um, my bowl on a cloth here, and that way the, the bowl won't move, depending on what kind of counter 
because you don't want that sliding around as you're trying to whisk in the milk. Okay, so now what we're going to do is pour this back into our pot because what we're going to do is put this back on the stove and cook it so the cornstarch has time to do its thing and thicken our pudding for us. And then also, you, as it cooks, you get rid of that starchy flavor from the uh, cornstarch. But what you want to have ready, as I have here, as you can see, a large bowl with a strainer, because what we're going to do is strain our pudding as soon as it's cooked. And that way, if we did get any lumps or anything, it'll strain it right out. And you also need ready a teaspoon of vanilla extract, a tablespoon of butter. You can use either salted or unsalted. And I have here, for more chocolate flavor, um, three ounces, which is 90 grams, of finely chopped. You could use either, I like to use a semi-sweet, or you could use a bittersweet chocolate. And finely chop it so it melts nicely into our hot pudding. You could use like about a half a cup, 120 milliliters of your favorite semi-sweet chocolate chips if you want to. So now, we're going to put this back on the heat. Now, a few things about when you're cooking this. One, you, do, you want it on like medium, medium, low heat. Because what we don't want to do is burn our pudding. We want it, and, and uh, if it's too high of a heat, what, you'll ha what will happen is it's, it will start to sputter and, and then... Um, all go all over you, which you don't want hot pudding on you. So you want to keep that heat so that it thickens and cooks, but it doesn't boil. So I find medium low, and you may have to adjust the heat as you're going. Now this will, and stir constantly. I'm using here a uh, heat-proof spatula, because that way I can get, you want to make sure you get all in the bottom of the saucepan and the sides, so that you don't want it sitting on the bottom and then it will burn. You want to be constantly stirring this and adjust your heat as you need to. And this will take somewhere um, between three and five minutes to thicken. You want it like mayonnaise, thick, nice and thick. But just stir it constantly. And you may find as it starts to thicken, you'll get lumps. So just keep stirring and stirring and that will smooth out the pudding as it's cooking. So don't worry, just keep stirring and adjust your heat if you need to. Okay, so our pudding, you can see it's really starting to thicken. So at this point, really um, stir it. You don't want it to burn. You don't want to get a lot of lumps. So don't be afraid to really stir it. And I've had to adjust my heat down as it cooks here. As more you cook it, the thicker it will become. The corn starts really in the eggs, really thicken it up. Okay, we're looking pretty good here. Like I said, make sure you keep um, stirring because this is a point where you can really um, scorch your pudding. Okay, this is about what you're looking for. Nice, thick, like mayonnaise. Okay, so I'm just going to take this off the heat. And then I have um, my bowl with my strainer. Careful, your pot's hot. And this way, if you do have some lumps, straining it will uh, get rid of all of those, which is nice. Have it. Rubber spatula is really good for this, as you can see, to help get it through there. And then make sure you take your and scrape off the bottom. Get an extra all you want to make sure you get all that pudding. So now, what we're going to do is add our one teaspoon 
of vanilla. And try to use a pure, it's a lot better flavor than the artificial. And one tablespoon of butter. And I'm using unsalted, you use salt, like I said. And have it in small pieces because it melts. And then our chocolate. Now stir gently. Our pudding is quite fragile at this stage, so don't be too aggressive with that stirring. If you wanted to, um, to add like a little maybe rum or, or liqueur, you could use um, add that here instead of the vanilla. So there we have our chocolate pudding. That wasn't too bad, was it? And this makes about, I would say, four to five servings. It's quite rich, so you don't want to have too big of a bowl, I don't think, although you might. So um, some people like, like a, a, what they call a skin or a film on top of their pudding. If you like it that way, then don't cover your pudding. Just let it cool down like this. Um, I personally do not like a film. So what I do is I just take a piece of um, plastic wrap and put it right on the surface like that. And that will prevent that film like that and just let it cool down. Now you could, you could serve this like warm. You could serve it at room temperature or put it in the fridge and chill it for like a couple days even. And you will notice that here, I have one that I made before, and you will notice that it does thicken up. Like it's, it's quite soft still when we make, first make it, but it does thicken as you can see. And so then you just put it, if you wanted to, instead of putting one in the bowl like that and put it in the fridge, you could just put it in your serving bowls and cover each one if you want. But you can just put in a little bit in your, uh, you have a pretty bowl or whatever you want to serve it in. Little pretty teacups is nice too. And then, of course, I like whipping cream with my um, chocolate pudding. It kind of, the uh, chocolate pudding is quite rich. So the, the uh, whipping cream just kind of cuts through that and it's just, it's just perfect. Um, if you want to put a little uh, chocolate shavings over the top, you can. So until next time, I'm Stephanie Jaworski of joybaking.com.